I know where I'm at and I know how to get back here. Version 4.8 and we have beacons now. Hey survivors, Tin Pony here. Let's talk about beacons, in-game compasses, coordinates, and all that good stuff. To use beacons to your full advantage, we need a logbook from the original shipwreck that we put a battery into. And to make a coordinate system, we need to craft two beacons in a craft bot. Since we came to Scrap Mechanic Survival, We've been on the move, collecting resources, building a base, planting farms for food, defending our farms, building contraptions to make our survival more fun. We even found out we can trade extra crops for valuable prizes. But the biggest obstacle so far is knowing where we are, where we've been, and how to get back there. Scrap Mechanic Survival has several different continents but they all have some things in common. They're all the same size and orientation. They all have a light in the sky that casts shadows. And they all have common points of interest located at the same coordinates on every map. Since 4.8 has become a real update, we're able to make beacons that can be placed, picked up, toggled to visible and invisible in the logbook and they show us in the logbook how far away they are they're visible at night even up to 10,000 meters away now to put that into perspective an in-game meter is about three and a third blocks your character is about a meter wide now I made a lot of beacons before I realized I didn't need them all they have their uses but they have a much more useful purpose than marking every location. With two beacons, we can cheaply and easily make a universal coordinate system that allows us to record a location for later with no mods or glitches. We can even share locations with a buddy that is having difficulty finding one of those common points of interest. Now, a common point of interest is those things that are in the same location in every map, like mechanic stations, packing plants, Scrap City, the second crash site, the trader, and I think there's like, I don't know, like nine of them or something. I, I don't know. I haven't found them all yet. But to make an in-game compass, I did this. We can swim or boat out to each of the four corners of the game where the invisible barriers are and put a beacon in each corner. We can even measure the length of the walls, divide that in half and put a beacon in the center of each wall, giving us a compass with four directions, north, south, east, west. Like I said, I've done this and it took a lot of time and fuel. The entire map is 8,191 meters wide and it's 6,143 meters in the other direction. That's 50 square kilometers and it would take almost 548 million blocks to cover it all. But that's not why we're here. There's an easier and cheaper way to get coordinates. If we put a beacon tight up into each corner of the north wall, we get two coordinates that change every time we move around. Now, even a movement of a meter or two is going to give us different coordinates on these two beacons. Toggling these beacons off in the logbook makes them invisible, but they still send data to your location in the logbook. So once they're placed, they don't need any more visits unless you want to change their color or icon. Each of these two beacons should have a color or icon or color and icon that is different from any other beacon you make, including the other beacon in this pair. So you'll know for sure which is the northwest or left and which is northeast or right. 
But when you want to save the location of a place and don't have a beacon or don't want to put one down, just open your logbook and take a screenshot screenshot or write down the coordinates and name them so you can remember why it was so important at the time. This can also be useful for finding that car or boat you parked and wandered away from or sending a location to that buddy that hasn't found the Holy Grail yet. Now you're saying, okay, Tin Pony, so how do we know we're both using the same side of the map as north? Well, if you want your coordinates to match someone else's, you have to have the same north. And to do that, we can use a shadow to point north. In scrap, scrap mechanic survival, a lot of people don't know, don't realize this, but a shadow doesn't change shape by getting longer or shorter, and it doesn't change position by moving around. Just put a pole in the ground and consider the shadow is pointing to the north. That is going to work in every map. Then go as far in that direction as you can and follow the wall to the right or left, it doesn't matter which way, until you come to a corner. When you get to that corner, swim down, put a beacon as tight into that corner as you can, and give it a unique icon or color so you won't be use that you won't be using on any other beacon. Then swim the other way along the north wall. You know where the north wall is now, until you come to the other corner. Put in the other beacon the same way, just as tight up into that corner as you can, down on the sea floor give it a unique color and or icon go ahead and swim up and take a breath because by now you're you're probably gasping but look in your logbook before you move look in your logbook to see how far you are from the first corner beacon it should say 8191 meters give or take a meter since you gave each of these beacons a unique icon and or color, you did, right? You now have a northwest and a northeast coordinate anywhere on the map. Easy, cheap, and useful. I hope you found this entertaining, if not useful. This is Tin Pony. Thanks for watching.